Hello everyone. In today's video, I would like to share you a small technique which is very useful when you are going to create a repeated document. For example, you want to issue a progress report for the multiple students. So this will be very useful for you. There will be a small option. It's called mail merge, which you can use smartly and it does not require any external software. You can only use Word and Excel for this. Uh, you can see on your screen there is one progress report. It's just a report. I just made it like randomly. But what, how you can create this progress report for 100 students. For example, you want to issue the same report for 100 people. Definitely the name of the student, the grade and progress will be different and the progress report will be the same. So let's see how can we do that. So instead of writing all the names, copy paste, copy paste and make 100 document, I will give you the easier way to do the same thing. Okay, so first you have to open this progress report and you should be ready with the list. Usually what happened, teachers have the list of the students already. The name of the students are there. So I already prepared random names, 100 names, 100 grades and 100 progress. It is just for practice. It's not real. So how we can do that? So first of all, you can see there is a progress report. So make a progress report. I scan my signature also and everything is there. Now I'm going to uh, call the names of the student and grade and progress from the Excel to the word. So I need to go here in mailing. Just click on the mailing. You can see the mail and then you can see select recipients. Here you can use existing list. You have to use an existing list. So I have already a list ready. You can see this is my list, list of its students and it is in document. So I'm going to use the list of students and going to open it. Okay. When you do that, you will see a pop-up message which shows they're talking about sheet one. Press OK. Connecting the Excel will not make any change on the document. but when you see here, you have now insert merge fields, name, grade and progress. It is same as here, name, grade and progress. It's automatically come here. So name of the students, I'm going to make it name. Here I'm going to write down grade and here I'm going to write down the progress. Progress. Let me make this name, let's say red and italic. Let's say grade will be blue and let's say progress will be underlined. Let's say just giving an example so you can fix a formatting. So this data is only a practice example. So I, I'm going to show you how can you generate these hundred letters in just one click. Again, go to mailing and here you can see it's finished and merging. So you can click on edit individual documents. You need all documents and press OK. When you press OK, simply you can see your document is ready. The first is Adrian. You can see here and you can see the second. You can see the third. The name is different. The grade is you can see the different progress is different even. And now the document is ready for 100 students. It's a simple technique which you can use in multiple purposes during teaching. For example, you want to make a lesson plan which is repeated all the time and some contents are different and some are same. Please remember this technique you can use wherever your sum data is fixed and some you need to change. So you can see whatever I made like the color uh, and the underline, the italic, it will come automatically uh, very peacefully and very correctly on the same places. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care.